Hello, my name is Lisa Bardo, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a really cool marble effect in Procreate. This is a really fun technique. The results are super impressive, and it's actually way easier than you might think. The marble effect is a really fun modern look, and I know you'll find a lot of ways that you can use it in graphic design, as an art print, or other ways as well. Today we're gonna to be working with my multi-tonal marker brushes. If you've never used these before, I would highly recommend checking out my marker brush tutorial. Let's go. So first of all, we're gonna choose our brush. I'm using the square marker from the Authentic Marker Set. And these are really great because they create a lot of tones when you overlap them. And that's gonna be what we want in this marble effect. Probably the hardest part about this project, which isn't saying much, is choosing your color palette. If you're just starting out, maybe stay on one side of the color wheel. For this first one, I'm gonna be using some oranges, yellows, reds, and pinks. As you can see, I'm just making some vertical stripes all the way across the canvas in kind of a random pattern. Okay, all done, let's go ahead and marbleize it. To do this, we're gonna use the liquify feature. At the bottom, we're gonna tap on twirl left. Uh, you can use right or left, it doesn't 100% matter. And we're gonna turn all the sliders to 100%. I've zoomed out on my canvas because when we do this, we're gonna start from outside the actual canvas itself. So starting outside the actual canvas, we're just gonna take our pencil and drag it very slowly across the canvas. Right now, I'm showing this to you in real time. I haven't sped up the video at all. The slower you go, the more the colors are gonna work themselves into each other. So just take your time and drag across. And that's it. Bet you thought there was more, but there's not. <laughs> Here's the finished result. Now I'll show you some of the adjustments that you can do in order to play with the different variations on the marbling. So if you turn down the distortion slider, that's gonna give you less of those little swirls, and it'll give you more of an effect that looks like this. So you can see it's a little less detailed, but it still looks really cool. It's just totally your preference how you wanna do it. Now I'm gonna turn the size of the brush down and the distortion all the way back up, and this time when I drag across, it's gonna make very little tiny adjustments. So you can see the marbling is very, very tiny. And that's what this looks like. You can also move your brush in sort of a wave pattern and you'll get a different effect with that. Let's go ahead and try some beautiful blues and greens. So I'm gonna move my brush diagonally across like I did before, but this time I'm gonna do it a second time in the opposite direction. This kind of swirls the colors together a bit more and gives you more of a detailed marble. So now I'm gonna reduce the size of the brush just a little bit and I'm gonna turn the distortion all the way down. That's gonna give me just one little swirl to work with. Then I'm gonna go back and forth across the canvas, always horizontally. Then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna marble vertically. And then I'm gonna do that one more time for my final effect. For this one, I wanna do more of a pastel color palette. Looking at it, I think some of the tones are still a little bit too dark for my liking, especially those browns. So I'm gonna use the Fat Filler brush as an eraser, reduce the opacity, and just erase a little bit of those dark tones away. Perfect, I love it. Now let's go ahead and marble this one. For the first one, I'm gonna keep the brush size all the way up and reduce the distortion by about half. I'm gonna go over the whole thing in three different passes to create a unique pattern. So to start, I've selected twirl left and I'm gonna move my brush across the canvas to the right. And then I'm gonna choose twirl right and move my brush across the canvas to the left. And then reverse it one more time to go and finish it off. And it creates a really cool kind of pattern. Okay, let's use this same palette to create another effect. We're gonna use the push option this time and we're gonna set all our sliders to 100%. This time, start within the bounds of your canvas and as you're moving across, kind of wiggle your pencil around and you'll start to see these little kind of irregular effects start to happen. And it's not a real science here, just kind of keep pushing and pushing until everything looks the way that you like. Okay, let's do one more. We're gonna do kind of a chevron effect. Start with twirl left, we're gonna turn the distortion all the way down and the brush size almost all the way up. And then we're just gonna go in one direction across, change to the twirl right, so from the left to the right, and then go the opposite direction. Isn't it marvelous? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went there. 
So as you can see, there are really endless possibilities with this technique. I hope this inspires you to play and procreate, make some really cool marbling and have some fun. Thank you so much for watching. You can purchase the multi-tonal marker brushes for Procreate at bardobrush.com. I would love to see whatever artwork you're creating with them. So if you're posting on Instagram, please tag your work with hashtag bardobrush. Happy art making. If you like this video, please subscribe for more awesome tutorials and check out one of my other videos. Have a great day.